Next on Today in St. Louis, two weeks into the season, fights in local schools are affecting weekend football games. We asked parents and teachers what they think is the solution. A nice and sunny today, but the weather is going to change. I'll tell you when and what we can expect. It's a holiday weekend. The local events the whole family can enjoy. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. All right, happy Labor Day weekend to you, St. Louis. We're taking a live look at the Ferguson Farmers Market, where they're celebrating another holiday this morning, the Cherokee National Holiday. We'll learn more about that in just a few minutes. And good morning to you. It's Saturday, September 2nd. I'm Travis Cummings and with the lovely Weather First Meteorologist Tracy Henson. How are you today? Oh, it's uh, such a great day out there. Yeah. It's Labor Day is usually the send off of summer and yes. uh, well, we're going to be sending summer off all right because we're right. back into the 90s. That's right. Let's go over uh, what conditions look like outside right now. We're nice and sunny. It is a little bit hazy over the city. That's pretty typical, especially on these warmer days. It is already up to 73 degrees. Last week at about this time, if you remember, our temperatures were cooler and they stayed cooler. Uh, but 73 degrees, our humidity is at 61%, a slight increase compared to yesterday, and that will actually gradually increase a little more throughout the day, and we'll really notice it tomorrow. Temperatures today will make it up into the low 90s, but with that humidity, it'll feel just a touch warmer all the way into the mid 90s today, but not nearly as bad as what I expect to come in for us tomorrow. For tonight, warm, so no more of those cool, crisp, fall-like mornings. They've been quite nice. The next week or so, we're looking at about 70 degrees for us for overnight lows, which means we do spend most of the night in the warmer mid to upper 70s. Winds will be out of the south, so pushing in that warm Gulf Coast air to us, and that's going to bring that humidity as well out of the south at 5 miles per hour. Tracy hands up with the first look at your forecast. Well, it's week two of high school football season in the bi-state, and today is National Tailgate Day. Corey Miller will bring us highlights from these Friday night lights games in a bit, but this season, violence during the school day is affecting games across the bi-state. Vashon and Cardinal Ritter did not play last night after a fight at Vashon. St. Louis Public School administrators say threats were made during the incident, so they postponed the game just to be safe. This morning, the district is working with Cardinal Ritter to reschedule. Now on the Illinois side, fights at Alton High School didn't cancel or postpone last night's game, but the administration did restrict attendance. Parents tell us the fights aren't a new problem. The fights at Alton High are also affecting schoolwork. They canceled classes Thursday and spent Friday learning remotely. Our Mercedes McKay spoke with parents and teachers about what next week could bring. It's kind of tough to see your students going through this and staff going through this. The Alton High School parking lot was unusually empty for a Friday as students learned remotely. One day after classes were completely canceled. And it was just one of those things that kind of spiraled out of control and it was a tough situation. That situation was this. A series of fights that broke out inside the school Wednesday. This just one of the many videos circulating on social media that caught the violence in action. Now, I think it points to a bigger problem that we have uh, that a lot of students are dealing with a lot of problems. That's why Alton Education Association President Bobby Rickman is calling on safer schools so students know they're loved and cared about. And we've got to work on making sure that they understand that and, and learning how to reach all of our students. For Alton High School parent Sarah Rose, this isn't anything new. Over the course of like, you know, 10 to 11 years that my kids have been in the middle school or the high school, I haven't seen any change. In fact, the mom of four says the situation has only gotten progressively worse. In asking the kids about their day, not just daily, but weekly, it's like, you know, how was your day? How were classes? Did anybody get any fights? While Rose understands the district trying to avoid the escalation of violence at Friday night's football game, she's upset it's come down to this. It's kind of removing that high school experience for our kids. Um, it's just really sad. The concerned mom just wants the district to be proactive instead of reactive. We all just want to know what is going to be the solution, both the short term and the long term. Mercedes McKay, five on your side. Administrators tell us they're putting safety and security measures in place for next week. You can read the district's full statement in this article under the As Seen on TV section on KSDK.com. 
Well, from now until 10 this morning, students and staff can stop by Francis Howell High School to pick up their personal belongings. The school evacuated everyone yesterday after receiving reports of a bomb threat. St. Charles County Police clear the school and say the threat was called in from out of state.